Hey guys, I want to show you something really quickly. So, um, on the white chart here, you can see this is a market profile level. It's actually a high value area. But the main point is, trend is starting to move down. You can see it better on the think or swim, but you see the trend start to turn over, right? Uh, from this morning. So, we had a nice sell off. And we finally broke the um, profile level. And as soon as you broke it, came back up and retested it first time retest at 45.88 and we got this thing to move down all the way down to 45.65 already so just to show you on thinkorswim um, the market profile is a little bit different on thinkorswim not as uh, accurate as the white chart that I just showed you but if I drew this in and you can see this is the bottom of the range see it bounced 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 finally broke down and if I made a little box you can see a little bit clearer right look what happened finally broke below here came back up retested it sell and then that's why it moved down like that so in practice uh, if you have a chart like this that shows you the market profile levels more accurately you can see that price has been kind of it broke up above high value area so this red line here is a high value area and this is all yesterday finally came back down um, into high value area and all you were looking for is the trend to start turning over and you see this in this big red arrow here right and then break down below high value area the first time it breaks below high value area and retests it that's a sell and you can see right there what happened at 4588 so at 4588 if you were sold one contract um, and let's do the math real quickly all you have to do is do it like this So at $45.88 per barrel, you subtract that by where we at, right? It came down to $45.65. This is just the potential. I'm not saying you would have made it. So that's 23 ticks. So every penny is one tick, okay? So that's 23 ticks times, so one tick if you buy or sell on the futures market for oil you can make or lose ten dollars for one tick equals ten dollars okay we just made twenty what twenty three twenty three ticks right from here to here we just moved twenty three ticks 23 ticks times 10 for one contract, $10, is $230. So you could have made about $230 from here to here. Now, depending on when you get out, of course. Um, but that was a matter of five. After you got in at five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, it moved down 23 ticks, and you could have made $230 off of one contract. Okay? So obviously if you multiply that by however much contracts so let's say you did five contracts that's 1150 etc etc okay so hopefully that uh, was a quick illustration of how to use market profile to buy and sell and it even works in the morning but it has to be the first time break into or out of profile and first time test it might come back up and test it again, but the second time it tests is not the valid sell. The first sell here in this case is we're looking for this trend to move down, break below high value area, and then sell. Okay, and as you can see on the think or swim chart, moving averages, move this drawing, moving averages turned over. So the purple is the 50 day which is stronger and then the white is 20 day but you know overall it was moving up moving up yesterday and then this morning we were slightly kind of moving up flat and then finally this bar helped this thing to cross over and now we're looking to sell not to buy okay so as we came down we finally broke down below this level here Here. Right. And as soon as you broke down below it, came back up, retested it, 
and we were able to sell there and of course you know depending on what chart you use you have a better you can see it better right and at this point you just would just hold on to this and see how much lower it would go unless it breaks out above it again breaks out above it has to break out hard come back down retest it and you can buy okay and that's how you use the market profile levels hopefully you learned something if you have questions let me know um, and we'll talk to you soon